he's in the army for several years, and he fought here and he fought there. And then the war ended, and he was discharged and he was sent home. Now, back in those days, the government didn't pay soldiers a whole lot, and all Jack had was a couple of sandwiches to keep him going until he found himself a good place to settle down. Hey, mister, can you spare some change for a cup of coffee, maybe something to eat? Uh, I'm sorry, I don't have any money. <laughs> you all right? Fine. <laughs> listen, I got a couple sandwiches here, and you're welcome to one of them. Oh, thank you, thank you, kind of me. <laughs> Take care now. got a sandwich here. You're, you're welcome to half of it. Well, I better be uh, moving on. Look, mister, I didn't do you right. A fella down the road, I gave him a whole sandwich, and I gave you nothing but half. So, here. Thank you. Take care. Oh. I've got something for you. Sam. Of the bed. Oh, man. 
Yeah, you play Craggy, and that person's gonna die. And you'll know it. Lickety-whack and death. Yeah. Just hold up there. Thank you. Zippity up. No, um, Zippity zap. Uh, wiggity whack into my sack. <laughs> <laughs> okay, boys, let's go to town. Three old turkeys.
house. Inquire at the drugstore. Mr. Bliven. Not responsible for mishaps on premises. Where do I find Mr. Bliven? Well, well, he works down the road about three miles. Well, what do I got to do? He'll tell you all about it. Hey, well, hey, hey, why would he want to give away a free... Excuse me. Are you Mr. Bliven? Uh, yeah, but we're closed now. You have to come back at 8.30 in the morning. Good night. Well, is that sign true down the road? Are you just going to give away that house? Has. Oh, that has. Yeah, you get the whole farm and $1,000 to boot. Well, what do I got to do? Well, you're just going to spend one night in that house. Just one night? That's it. What's your name, soldier? Jack. Jack. The house is haunted. Haunted? You mean like ghosts and all? Yeah, I mean, we're trying to find somebody to break that haunt. Well, I'll try. Let's go. You mean now? Yeah, why not? Well, all right. Will you drive? Oh, it ain't just ghosts in there. It's, it's, well, we don't know exactly what it is, but, but we're afraid it's going to get all over the entire settlement, and, 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 uh... Mr. Blevin? Mr. Blevin? You okay? For God's sake, Jack, turn those lights back on. Sorry. Jack, are you sure you really want to go through with this? I mean, those other fellas... Mr. Blevin, I told you. I've been looking for a place to fix up and kind of settle down finally. I think this is the place. Oh, yeah, it used to be a mighty fine place, all right. Uh, but those other fellas... Mr. Blevin, I told you. I've been overseas with the war and all. I saw some pretty rough stuff, but I never run. Oh, well, they didn't run either. They spent the whole night. Well, how come you didn't give them the house then? Well, that's what I've been trying to tell you, Jack. When I came back the next morning to pick them up, they was dead. Dead as a doornail. Dead? Buried in the cell. Down there. Mr. Blevin, I, I don't scare easy. I told you that before. Jack! Are you sure you want to do this? Yes. Well, all right, but I warned you. Glad you might be. Good night, Mr. Blivin. Good night, Jack. <laughs> the door's locked. You got a key?
startled me. Uh, uh, I was, uh, I was just, uh, uh, take a little nap. <laughs> you fellas from around here? I don't know. See, Mr. Blivin, he told me that uh, if I could stay the whole night, that uh, maybe, uh, you know, he's the owner of this, uh, but unlike those other three, oh, I gotta go. I, I mean, a nice place, but it's uh, a little bit too many rooms for coffee. No, it's not cold. A little food for it. It's not warmed up yet, anyway. Part one, Jack returns from the war looking for a place to settle down. A strange man gives him two magical gifts, a sack to catch anything and a jar to see death. Jack discovers a haunted house belonging to Mr. Bliven that is free to anyone who can spend the night there. Jack accepts the challenge and in the middle of the night is surprised by three devils. Uh, what do we play for? Uh, matchsticks. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. All right, two pair. Two pair showing, so I guess it's my bet. all the bats and I guess I'm called so no no wait 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 a minute now why would you want to do that see first of all the betting is over and second of all you can't possibly win uh, even if you're both and that's a good point so I've got two pair and uh, each of you guys have got one ah uh, I'm mistaken. You, uh, you each have two pair. <laughs> and, uh, how could you possibly... <laughs> right, right. I got, uh, one dime left. Uh, you played, uh, cards with those other three fellas? Uh, what happened, uh, to those fellas when they lost all their money? <laughs> Oh. Okay, another game. your bet. And table six, gentlemen, is that's all I got. And he calls and that's the end of the bet. Oh, you're gonna bet his money too, huh? Get fun now. <laughs> 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 
think I'm just getting the hang of it. What do you say we double the stakes? Mr. Blithen came back to pick up Jack. Oh, come on, boy. Don't get the box. That's where the other one was. Smith and paid him to sledge them until they were just smoke and powder. Aren't the devil right there? The devil, the devil, the devil. I want a big smile from all of you folks. Now hold it here, Mr. Bliven. Give him the money. Here's your reward. Thank you, sir. Real good. And I hope this means you're going to stay around these parts for a nice long time. Well, I believe I will. Well, bless your soul. <laughs> So Jack settled down and hired some boys to help fix up the house. And he had pretty near all that he wanted except for one thing. for a special bulletin. While campaigning with her father in Washington, the president's daughter was suddenly struck down by a mysterious illness. Our reporters were on the scene. Oh my God! Somebody, help! Here! Quick! The 
president is desperate and has opened the doors of the White House to anyone, repeat, anyone who can help. Inside the White House, we have learned that the president is becoming increasingly impatient with the medical community and has already dismissed most of his physicians from the case. <laughs> place? My name is Jack. Thought maybe I could help. Mr. President, Jack, sir. Hello, Mr. President. He doesn't look like any doctor. Where did this man come from? Mr. President, he's the only one left. Uh, sir, I'm not a doctor, but I think I can help your daughter. Hmm. Well, all right. But you better know what you're doing. Washington this week as thousands of well-wishers gather to watch a relieved and happy president present Jack with the nation's highest honor. A 
snappy salute brings the crowd to its feet to cheer this country's newest hero. And there is no doubt in anyone's mind that it will be happily ever after for this charming young couple. Jack went back home and took the sack with death and hung it in a tree. And after a while, everybody forgot about it. A few things changed, but mostly they stayed just the same. The seasons changed and the years went by, and folks got older and older. But they didn't seem to notice, because without death in the world, it's hard to mark time. Jack took care of the house and did some light farming. And time passed and time passed. And Jack was out walking behind the house one day when he met an old woman. Do, son. Are you getting along, Granny? Yeah. I say, how are you getting along? Oh, Lord, son, awful. What's awful? Two hundred and six years old, that's what's the matter. What are you, Sonny? Me, I'm... I'm a... I can't remember. I can't die, that's what's the matter. You mean... you want to die? It's awful. Why can't you die? Ain't you heard? Some blame fools tied death up in a sack. Ain't nobody died around here for a hundred and fifty years. Now that ain't natural, is it? Uh -oh. Boy, just drop the sack down now. Real easy.
Guide for Soldier Jack is available as part of a special issue of the From the Brothers Grimm newsletter. Contact your local ITV director or send $2 to Newsletter, Soldier Jack, Davenport Films, Route 1, Box 527, Delaplaine, Virginia, 22025.